and happy Friday. Welcome to the Traction News, a weekly show presented by this idiot, all about the happenings across motorsport, video games, esports, and this here Traction channel. We made the final, but it didn't come home. Well done, all the same, lads. But I tell you what does come home this week. F1. It's the British Grand Prix this weekend, so hit subscribe if you're excited, ring the bell if you want George Russell to sign for Mercedes. I'm almost certain Toto watches these videos, so I think ringing the bell will definitely influence his decision. I'm sure, yeah. Yes, it's true. Yeah, he does. Okay, never mind. Here's what's going on. Stop the presses, post-production Rich here, and while we'll get to more Motorsport Games news in a mo, only a matter of hours ago, Motorsport Games and IndyCar signed an agreement to bring an official IndyCar video game to the market, the first time a standalone title has been produced since 2004. Expected to launch in 2023, it will be coming to Xbox and PlayStation consoles, as well as PC, and corresponding esports events are included in the agreement. Not much else to say just yet, so stay tuned. The successor to the NASCAR Heat series is on its way and we've had our first look at the tentatively titled NASCAR 21. After chatting to IGN, Vice President of Publishing and Marketing George Holmquist revealed a few more details about the game, including the move to a new engine, better feeling driving than ever before, the inclusion of Studio 397's renowned physics, and a paint booth. Head over to Traction.gg for a better look at these images and also stay tuned for more information about NASCAR 21 when everything unfolds. In a move that surprised basically everyone, Gran Turismo announced they're teaming up with someone who isn't Thrustmaster to make some racing peripherals. Since they can't go five seconds without being here on the Traction News, Fanatec and Polyphony Digital have partnered up for multiple projects, so expect a bunch of peripherals ready for or releasing alongside Gran Turismo 7 next year. Speaking of Sony's seminal racing sim, if you're excited for Gran Turismo 7, then we've had something juicy bubble up to the surface this week. Part of the Experience PlayStation Quest over on their website, users can poke around to receive rewards. Users on their Italian website found they could land a Gran Turismo Beta Access in brackets test code, which doesn't actually work when redeemed. The wording on these pages doesn't seem to correlate with the rest of the PlayStation website, and as said, none of the codes actually work. But does this mean we're due for a hands-on with Gran Turismo 7 sooner rather than later? Well, we don't exactly know yet. Pinch of salt, of course, all of this rumor and speculation. But still, I'm excited. Are you? Let me know in the comments. After shipping both the BMW M4 Class 1 and the Formula Pro car, Studio 397 are not holding back on the content. If you're the owner of the Kart Sim add-on for R Factor 2, then you've got new DLC packs on the way, including both new tracks and carts. Six existing tracks are getting a lick of paint, and four more are being added, taking the karting track total to 10. If you've not dipped your toes into R Factor 2's karting just yet, you can pick up the entire 10 tracks and four carts in a single pack. It's all available in-game now. On to some esports now, Hampshire Motor Speedway must be Jimmy Mullis' favourite circuit within iRacing, as at the latest eNASCAR Coca-Cola series, he took his third straight victory at the venue. In taking the chequered flag, he became the 11th different winner so far this year, and guarantees his spot in the playoffs. There are just two races remaining in the regular season, as the championship heads to Watkins Glen next on the 3rd of August. Round two of the 2021 FIA Gran Turismo World Series happened earlier this week with both the Manufacturers and Nations Cups in action. In the Manufacturers race held at the Nürburgring Grand Prix layout, reigning champion Takuma Miyazono took another victory for Subaru ahead of the inaugural Olympic virtual champion Valerio Gallo. Things were much closer in the Nations Cup event at the unforgiving west coast confines of Laguna Seca. With every entrant in a KTM crossbow, Patrick Blajan took a spectacular victory home for Hungary. This week on Traction, in case you didn't notice, it's F1 2021 release week. In fact, today is release day if you didn't buy the Deluxe Edition, and we have got a bevy of content for you, including our full review of the game with no spoilers for Breaking Point or spoilers of any sort, which is actually only Breaking Point, so why am I saying spoilers of any sort? Shut up, Rich. Our review is out. That came out on Monday. We also have a beginner's tips and tricks guide, so if you are brand new to F1 games, you should totally try F1 2021. It's really good. Spoilers for the review, I guess. You can check out our guide on where to actually start in F1. We also compared 2020 and 2021 in terms of the graphics and how the power units sound, because that's a big upgrade with F1 2021, and myself and Osley took to split screen to be absolutely brilliant. We usually play with wheels. That's all I'm gonna say, okay? In non-F1 related traction content, Dave Cam takes you around Imola in his most recent guide in iRacing, and John gives you his takes on the best GT4 cars in Assetto Corsa Competizione. 
Coming up on Traction, it's more F1, basically. I have a play with F1 2021's photo mode and make some YouTube thumbnails so you get a bit of a behind the scenes as to how we do things here at Traction. Bit of F1, bit of Photoshop something a little bit different. We also have a big multiplayer race off here in the Traction office and on Sunday it's the Silverstone Grand Prix so we're going to do our own little 25% race as George Russell in his Williams. Will he make it into the points? You'll have to wait and see. Once again that is it for this week and as always links in the description below for more information about everything we've spoken about today and if you want to see more about NASCAR 21 and F1 2021 then please do subscribe to the Traction channel, ring the bell, for notifications. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the British Grand Prix. Come on, George. Get in the points. We believe in you. Until I see you again, take care. I'll see you next week.